hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to this and stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome please kindly like share comment subscribe please subscribe and click the notification bell thank you the required measurements are waist for the band and skirt length minus band height plus seam allowance 0 0.5 plus m allowance 1.5 inch example one let's assume the size of the pleat you want to do is one inch and the waist is 12 inches normally the waist is more than that the waist like 30 32 but because this is just a small example so that is why i'm using 12 inches then this calculation is not only for pleated skirts it can be for a pleated sleeve it can be a peplum top with pleats at the waist but this is the calculation for pleats if you want to calculate some people don't calculate they just fold the fabric when you get to the measurement they need they just they cut off the rest and they have their pleats but if you want to work with calculation you can use this so this is for pleats in general not just pleated skirts the rising pleated skirts as an example so let's assume the size of pleats I'm going to have on that skirt is one, one inch each. Then the waist is 12 inches. This might not be a waist. If you're, make, if you're not making a skirt, let's say it's a sleeve, it will not be waist. It will be where you want to put the pleats. Let's assume you want to attach it here now. This will represent that waist because that's the place you are putting it. So the inches that is there is what you will use then the number of pleats needed is 12 inches since the waist is 12 each pleat is one inch the number of pleats needed is automatically 12 so the calculation is this one inch that is the size of your pleat times three that is the fold This is a pleat. So the three fold that I'm trying to say is this. Your pleat has three folds. One, two, three. So that's the three fold that I'm trying to say. Each pleat, you're going to fold three layers of fabric together to form a pleat. So that's the three fold I'm saying here. So, one inch, the size of the pleat, times three, which is the fold, equal to three, times 12, number of pleats needed, equal to 36 inches, inches, plus four inches for zip allowance. So we're going to put zip. Then if it is not a skirt, it will be seam allowance. And it will not go up to four inches, maybe like two inches for a seam allowance. It's just to sew the place back. You're not putting a zip if it's not a skirt. So that will be 40 inches in total. Why is it 40 inches to cut that? Then, example two let's assume the size of the pleats are two inches now. Each pleat you are making is two inches, and the waist that you need is 14 inches. If it's not waist, it will be the circumference of where you want to have the pleats. That place want to have the pleats is what you will use in this place. Then the number of pleats needed now will be seven inches. The waist is 14. Each pleat is two inches. So that would be seven inches. Or like this one that was the same with the waist. This one will be half of the waist because the pleats are bigger and they are in two, two inches. So we need seven pleats. 
If you do seven pleats that are two two inches, that's fourteen. So the calculation is two. That's the inches two times three, which is the fold of each pleat. That's six times seven, the number of pleats that you need. That is forty-two inches plus four inches for zip allowance. That's 46 inches. So we'll cut a fabric of 46 inches to achieve these seven plates that are two inches wide. And at the end of the day, the waist we're going to get will be 14 inches. So fabric measurements. This 46 inches, which is the fabric we need for this example too. You divide it by 36. A yard is 36 inches. That will be 1.27. So you will say 1 yard, 27 inches. You understand? You will say so. The 1 yard constant, yes, that's 1 yard. But this 0.27 is not 27 inches. We still need to calculate what it is. So the 0 0.27 that is remaining, we times it by 36, which is a yard. So that's 9.72. So the answer of this 46 divided by 36 is 1 yard, 9.72 inches. Not 1 yard, 2.7 inches. By the time you cut the fabric, you understand. This is the calculation we'll be using to make this skirt our waist measurement is 21 inches we're making a small size by the way then the skirt length after calculation after we have minus the band height after using this calculation skirt length minus band height plus seam allowance 0 0.5 inch plus m allowance 0 0.5 inch so our derived measurement is 16. Skirt length is 16. Waist is 21 inches. The number of pleats needed is 21 inches. This is just a repetition of the calculation I explained earlier. So number of pleats needed. Now we are inserting our own measurements into that example number one. I explained earlier. Number of pleats needed is 21 inches. So the calculation now 1 times 3, that's 3 times 21, that's 63 inches plus 4 inches for zip allowance, that is 67 inches. Then, if you want to know how many yards you will need, that is where you will go ahead and do this calculation otherwise you can go ahead and cut with these inches so if you want to know the yards you're going to need the 67 inches we got here we divide it by 36 a yard is 36 so that is 1.87 so that is one yard the 0 0.87 at the back we need to calculate how many inches that will be so that is 0 0.87 times 36 that is 31.32 so we have abbreviated that 31.32 into 32 so we'll be needing one yard 32 inches we have gone ahead to cut our fabric the length of the fabric is 16 inches while the width is 67 inches if you are going to use this 67 inches your pleats they have to be accurate if you're doing a one inch plate measure one inch if you make it too big the 67 inches will never be enough so what we're going to do is we're going to add two inches to this just to have a little excess and when we are done we'll trim off the excess that is the best way in case it's not enough it's supposed to be enough if you do exactly what you're supposed to do but as a beginner your one inch might not be perfect when folding it 
so i'll just say add two inches when you are done at the end your excess you can trim it off so we have gone ahead to cut the fabric the length is 16 inches while the width is 67 plus 2 69 the width is 69 so we are going to do knife pleats just as i explained on paper we're going to repeat the same thing on this fabric so we'll get our zip allowance on the edge first in this case our zip is four inches so that will be two inches on both sides you can make yours smaller it's fine but we are using four inches so that'll be two inches on this side and two inches at the end of the fabric so that is what we we'll use to fix our zip at the end of the day so we'll repeat exactly what we did on the paper for the knife plate we'll repeat the same thing on this fabric if you're not working with knife plate if you were doing inverted plate or box plate our advice you use your chalk use a tailor's chalk or a disappearing marker and mark on the right side of the fabric so that you can see the shape of what you are making but since it's knife plate whichever direction they face is fine whether they are facing the right or they are facing the left as long as they are facing the same direction it's fine so we will be marking it on the wrong side of the fabric the back of the fabric I'm going to start from one side so I'll measure my zip allowance like I said earlier I'm using 2 inches I'll measure it down here you can also go ahead and measure at the center so that when you are folding your dart it's accurate so I'll measure at the center also 2 inches and draw a straight line From the line of the zip allowance, I'll go ahead and measure one inch. I'll just do a bit. You go and do the remaining thing. Then try to make your one inch accurate. Even though we have added extra, it may still not balance. I'll mark it at the center also. One inch. And at the bottom. At the M. So I'll start splitting. I can face it either the right direction or the left direction. So I'm going to count three. One, two, three. And form it. The same thing I did on paper earlier. Then I'll pin it down. At the center also, I've marked it. So I'll also check that it's accurate, then pin down. Continue. 
After pleating it, then you press it. You use steam to press it all the way so that it will form that shape. If you iron it, don't remove the the pencil. Okay, I'll I'll show you tacking now. If you're going to remove the pencil, you have to tack it down. Use needle and thread to tack it down. If you're going to remove the pins, everything. Yes, everything. Yes. You tack it down up there, you tack it down the middle, you tack it down, down here. Needle and thread. Oh, I can still, I can hire it without using the pins. Yeah. In case you need more pins. In a case where your pins are not enough. Continue that way till we finish pleating it. Then we'll use steam to press it down. This is the complete pleating, and we are going ahead to give it a good press. We're going to fix our zip. The two inches we left. The two inches we left at the edge on both sides. We're going to use it to fix our zip. So the same way you fix your zip, that is the same way you fix the zip. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please kindly like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new here, and click the notification bell. Thank you.